So it's like, I nine times out of ten, I probably got the receipt. A lot of stuff I just noticed like a year ago um, is where I got the inspiration for one of my jokes that I've been telling now, I guess, for like a year. Um, but it was literally like I'm like working on my car and I like did an Instagram story like I can finally relate to men. <laughs> and then like that eventually turned into a joke that I tell like I'll tell it tonight during the set. And um, I don't know if somebody like took that joke or that setup or that punchline like they're just still not going to be able to tell it like me. So it's just something I'm not too worried about. And being so new to this as well, I'm like, that just means go right now. And be better. So change, change the subject. You're still playing basketball, right? Ah, uh, no, not really. I no. try to didn't sometimes. Did you just play your basketball thing? I thought I thought something. Those Instagram. pictures were from June 2023. Okay. Um, I shoot around sometimes here yeah. and there, but yeah, there's a basketball, a charity basketball tournament every summer, um, in Denver for the St. Jude Research, okay. not whatever it's called. That we love them. Um, but uh. Yeah, I, I didn't get to play this year because it was just the other day. So okay. I was just helping promote it and, and share the pictures from last year where my team did take the championship title. Um, I scored about six points in that game. <laughs> Missed my free throws. Um, but yeah, that was it was a lot of fun. There's It's surprising like how many um, athletes, like people who like played D1 basketball and stuff like that um, are comedians. Not just like people who are rich and then decide to do comedy. And so um, with everything you're doing, how do you take care of yourself? Oof. Um, I have like my morning practices and like a morning routine that I'm pretty dedicated to that, that helps me stay grounded and whatnot. Um, trying to get as much rest as possible. So now that I've reached a certain curve with comedy, I feel like I don't have to grind as hard every night at the open mics. Like for a while there, I set this weird goal my first year in comedy that I wanted to be on stage 300 times in my first year. And so I was going like really, really hard going to four mics a night and like, I'll do that every once in a while. Um, but yeah, just get my sleep is really important to me. Um, and just staying around people who are like positive and stuff like that. I'm in a new relationship that's been like really helpful for, me helping to take care of myself and um 